welcome back to the art room. I'm really glad you could make it today. <laughs> kind of chilly in the art room today, but I really do love all these snowflakes coming down. We'll start off with a nice drawing of our neighborhood the day before. Then, after the snow comes, we'll get out our paintbrushes and white paint to add all the wintry touches to our scene. So stick around. This is going to be fun. Okay, welcome back to the art room. I uh, just love seeing a nice blank sheet of paper in front of me and a brand new marker. <laughs> Isn't that a great scene? Just like, wow, goosebumps. I get to draw now with a new marker. I just love that. It's a cold and snowy day where we are right here. I think it's seven degrees this morning. So it's definitely got me in the mood for a big snow picture. Even though around here we really haven't had our big, big snow yet. So, to make this, we're going to be using a piece of blue paper, a piece of yellow construction paper, a blue marker, a paintbrush, a piece of chalk, that's optional, a pair of scissors and a glue stick or a glue bottle if you have one, and some white temper paint or white acrylic paint. And those are the things we're going to be using. So, we're also going to talk about things that are in the foreground, things that are in the middle ground, and things that are in the background. But um, before we get into that, um, here's that scene that uh, I did that I showed you at the beginning. Um, and I had a great time making these crazy buildings, um, not a straight line in the group. So we're going to have kind of a sense of um, exaggeration. Um, while we draw this, we know houses really don't have crooked lines, but uh, we're just going to have fun drawing uh, kind of a wacky uh, city street getting ready to have that big snow. So I've got my dark marker. Uh, I want it to be darker than the paper. I could have been using black or purple. I've got kind of a dark blue violet right here. And I'm just going to get started drawing some houses and then we'll uh, see how this whole thing goes. So. Um, Let's uh, turn our paper going a long direction. This is um, nine by or, or uh, twelve by eighteen construction paper I've got here. Actually, I think it's more like eleven and a half by eighteen, <laughs> something like that. And I'm going to start um, over here, uh, right about above uh, the middle ground of my paper, and I'm just going to line in a, a house, side of a house. And um, as we said, we're we're going to have fun with it. We're going to have a lot of fun with it, with the shape and uh, not worrying about what's straight and what isn't. So I think on, on top of that um, kind of a crooked rectangle, I'll stick a little um, triangle. I think I'll skip a little space over here and I'll make, a, make another rectangle. Okay. Whoops. Kind of along the same picture plane here. And I kind of come over here and add another little, maybe kind of a garage sort of area on my street. Okay. Um, and I think I'll uh, come over here now and add another, yet another kind of a building. Like that. So if I had Frankie right here, I could say, now, hey, Frankie, now that's our house. That's the Schmidt's house. That's where the drowns live over here. Um, let's just kind of do a, another house shape. Okay, that's, that's where the Ward family lives, over there. And let's do uh, another, like, maybe little one over here. So we're already kind of getting the feeling of um, some city street, uh, kind of a city street happening here. So um, let's kind of take it uh, a little bit farther. So I'll come over here to this one with the point and I'm going to extend some lines off of it like that and make kind of a um, little uh, rooftop. And then I'll come over here and uh, uh, kind of make a shape out of it like that. Alright. Hey, that could be 
a nice uh, kind of a little side building there. Uh, on this one, I think I'll just add a, a top like that. I'm not uh, not making anything straight, <laughs> not at all. Over here, I think I'll uh, I'll add a another little side building here, triangle and square sort of combination there. Okay. Hey, this might be fun. Let's show the little side view of of uh, that house there. Okay, that's got kind of a tilt to it. And over here, maybe we'll put a gable on a. Uh, it's got a little projection like that. And let's give that house a rooftop as well. Okay, maybe a little round window there. And let's see, how about a front door there and um, another front door over here. I'm kind of going over to the side on that one. Um, let's do a little porch on this one. We can put like a little little porch thing there and a doorway underneath that. It's got a porch. I like that. Um, and then let's uh, come back here. We'll make another couple of angles in our drawing like that. And hey, let's throw in a few bushes um, and um, kind of shrubbery around here like that. So this is all kind of a middle ground we've got here. I think I'll add a little spot back here too on that one. And maybe a... Oh yeah, that's getting really good. Okay. I think I'll stop right there for a second and I'm gonna get my yellow construction paper out and we'll make some windows. For me the windows part really added a lot so and I wanted to make sure that my windows were uh, kind of crooked and interesting just like my drawing is so what I did was um, and what I'm going to do is just fold up my yellow paper and start chopping off some different windows uh, that are kind of crooked on purpose so that I can use them in uh, kind of an interesting way in my drawing a whole pile of different size little windows and things. Let me make a couple more. I think I'm going to need some tiny ones too. Okay. All right, great. I got a whole nice pile of windows there. So let's see. I think I'll, I think I'll put a couple of windows in. Um, and I'm using my glue bottle today because my uh, glue stick is not as uh, fresh as I'd like it to be. <laughs> and it's not working too well. So a little bit of Elmer's glue if I can get that to come out. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to put some windows on here. Let's see. That's too big there. I think I'll use that one there. Oh, yeah, I like that. Here's another... Um, this one's going to work a little bit better, maybe right there. All right. And you'll notice I'm not making any effort to stay straight or in line with the other window like a, like a real house would have. I'm just having fun with my windows here. Um, mixing it up a little bit. Make it interesting. Um, Okay, turn that one on its side a little bit. Let's stick a window there. And how about one over here on this side? Good. Just creating this fantastic kind of a fantasy group of, um, of windows and homes here. Oh, he's got a big picture window there. You can really see out where he is. And I think I'll put a couple more on before I get back to drawing again. That's too big. Let's cut a little bit of that off. And let's put that one there. Neat. I think I could use another one over here as long as I've got that. Okay, very good. Very good. 
and <clears throat> another one over here. Oh, I love that. So, yeah, that's got a really neat kind of random look, uh, don't you think? So far, I like that. We'll go back and we'll draw some more here now that we kind of know where windows and things are. Um, let's do a chimney back here off of that house, and I'll stick a, a cap on it like that. And then maybe over here I'll give him a, this one's got, you know, kind of a rounder chimney, like a pipe, chimney pipe. I'll come back here, stick in a chimney, and uh, let's do another entry door. Okay. All right, and now I can go back, now that I've got my windows in place, and I can kind of give them a, um, a treatment with... some uh, window panes and they're not straight either okay <laughs> I love that big one and I'll go back and I'll add some details too with my marker around my windows little top portions um, you're getting the idea all right. Okay, so we've got a pretty good middle ground, and I can always add to it. Let's do a little bit of background. We talked about the background. So behind my buildings, um, I'm going to do some um, telephone poles. Uh, I'll space them about like that, and then maybe over here I'll do another telephone pole. And um, I'll put some telephone pole tops on those and try to make those look kind of uh, realistic with these little dots here and I I think I'll string them together with some um, lines here some electric lines here telephone lines whatever they are here I guess they're electric lines um, and I'll have a little arch to them. Hey, and I think later on I'm going to put a couple of birds sitting here. <laughs> That'll be fun. When it starts to uh, snow, our birds will get right into the swing of things. So behind um, the house is then, I think I'll do some more of this like foliage. These could be bushy trees or uh, they could be um, you know, the neighbor's trees in their backyard. You doing okay? I hope so. Okay, I'm really starting to like this drawing. And then if you want to, we can just go back behind here and do the suggestion of some houses that are behind us. Um, that's actually, these guys are like across the street. Okay, so just the suggestion that there are some other houses that are um, within sight there in the background so we've got kind of a nice background growing in a middle ground and so we'll start projecting out to the foreground um, and, but before we do I want to do some foreground stuff uh, that's kind of special to, to me this will be fun so I'm gonna make the mailbox of Mr. Shea's art room here and that's either a 2,000 pound mailbox or it's close to us it's so close that it looks huge and of course don't answer that question you know um, it's close so now we've got a foreground that's showing us how close that uh, mailbox is and I'm gonna make here's that little flag that you stick up and Hey, uh, as long as I'm right here, I think I'll put my name on there. So that's where the Shays live, right there. And we can do some other foreground things, too. Uh, my neighbor has this habit of letting his car stay out all the time. So let's just draw, like, part of a car. And it's so much in the foreground that we um, don't see all of it. We just see this outside huge shape of it and I'll let's see I'll give a uh, 
give the car a front window and a side window and okay maybe we can see just the top of a wheel arch there and uh, there's a door lock um, hey and maybe he knows that it's gonna snow so if you ever see those people that uh, <laughs> they put their um, windshield wipers straight up in the air like that so that's my that's my neighbor's car so if I if I want to be a little more specific here I can show the um, inside of his car like that there's the inside that's kind of in darkness and then maybe a steering wheel back here and uh, something like that okay looking good okay um, so for the middle ground area we got this kind of an, ex an extra spot here let's um, let's come across here and we'll, we'll think about where we want our street to be and if your mailbox is higher in proportion then you might be going right through your mailbox I hope you are that would be great if you are that'll give us a really neat effect then here's the curb um, how about a driveway that spreads out now why are they spreading out well if we um, if you watch the one point perspective lesson that we had I think that was two episodes ago we've almost got a one point perspective kind of situation going here even though we're not going to be doing that but I think you're getting the idea that things go um, smaller as they go back into space okay so I've got these cool like um, driveways and things um, maybe we'll make this one kind of curve around a little bit more just to make it interesting okay um, hey I'll put a car back in there yeah there's our neighbor's car he forgot to close the garage door yeah like that got a car in there that's getting pretty neat um, now we'll go for some details so let's see maybe this guy over here has got a satellite he's got uh, you know satellite television coming out of his house um, we can make like uh, let's make a bird bath over here this guy's got a bird bath why am I making these details there there are little places that I can add snow to. <laughs> I've got kind of an ulterior motive there. I want to add snow to these places. So um, I'm going to add some more bushes and different details that I can dream up. Let's see. I'm going to make that one into a garage. So um, I'm not sure what that is then. Um, I guess he's got a bush in front of his garage there. That's probably not, doesn't make much sense. Let's add a driveway here. Okay. Oh, it's getting so good. Oh, it's getting so good. Um, maybe um, a foreground bush here um, in the corner. Just making some up and down kind of marks there. And um, I'm pretty much satisfied with that. I, I could put something... Um, I know, let's put a couple of... Maybe it's trash day, so... Um, I'm going to put a couple of trash cans sitting out here waiting to get picked up. I guess he didn't. Well, this neighbor didn't pick out his either. Got another trash barrel over here. Um, and, oh, there's a bicycle back here. Somebody parked their bicycle back here uh, in the little uh, space between the houses, and they've got... I've got the bike back there and I could add some other details um, and probably more windows too. Um, just have fun with it and make your city street look terrific and uh, I'm starting to really like my my drawing here. Okay hey I'm gonna take my piece of white chalk now um, and um, I've got it kind of in my mind that it's kind of blowing hard to, uh, tonight here in our winter scene. So what I'm going to do is um, is make some 
chalk dust with my white chalk that's got a, a real direction and it's um, the wind is making that chimney blow um, all of the smoke kind of in a real directional way across our scene. <laughs> I like that. And this little one over here is has got a little bit coming out too. All right, that kind of adds to the effect, I think. Hey, it's time for the paint. I get excited about this stuff. I really do. So, um, I um, I've got some white paint here. I'm just going to squeeze it into my container. All right, how to do it? So it's kind of fun to think about where snow would actually gather. Uh, and I think that's the most fun part of, of the whole picture is where snow uh, accumulates. It's really kind of funny the way it does actually. Um, and I actually, I might get a little bit bigger brush here too to, to put it on with here, a couple of spots. Uh, I might want to load up a little bit. So let's see, let's get into the white paint. And right away um, in our scene, this whole rooftop here has been covered up. Yeah, took all night for that that snow to cover up. Now, does it does it stick to the side of the house? No, it doesn't. That's not the way snow acts. So, um, even on top, I'm going to have like some piles going there like that and then there's a little bit that landed on our chimney there too and then up here as I'm going across here's a little bit that's accumulated on our um, telephone poles back here in the background there's some let's see and uh, oh great <laughs> I love this part so on top of this building as well Was that the Schmidt's house? I don't know. I can't remember what we said about that. Anyway, they were good people and they were good neighbors. So there's my... See what's happening here? I'm just putting snow on places that are um, pointed up like that. What a cool look. Um, little bit on top of their doorknob <laughs> and then back here oh yeah snow's really on top of that rooftop so as I do this I'm going to speed the process up here no sense in watching me do all this I might stop and talk along the way though So I'm going to um, make it look like the snow is piled up around uh, the driveways and uh, all the families have been out shoveling uh, and I like this kind of a little stipple effect we've got going on in the bushes like that. And so up here, um, our car has a lot of snow on it. Um, yeah, 
Whoever's going to take off in that has to use their snow brush and a little bit on top of the windshield wipers. And um, right here. Okay, really, really piled up. And then on the old Shea mailbox, um, there's um, quite a bit piled up there. <laughs> I love that. Hey, and there's some on the little flag thingy there. And on this bush. Oh, I like it. And then right here on the wee wells too, I think. I think we'll put some up on there too, like that. All right, and that's great. On the curb, add as much snow as you want, but um, oh, that's really starting to get good here. Maybe I'm going to pile up a little bit more. Um, so I've been working a little bit more on mine, finishing up my snow scene. Wow, <laughs> I love it. I so what I've done here is uh, after my white paint dried, I went back in and I did a little bit of uh, cleaning up on some of my lines and added some um, little bits of snow, little little pieces of snow here and there. Uh, I did some things around my car, and I'm getting ready to call this one finished. Uh, except I wanted to show you this. I had a lot of fun with my first one here. Um, I did some kind of of these uh, swirly patterns coming out of the chimneys and um, I just for fun I thought I might add something like that in there kind of a swirly cool kind of a, of a abstract sort of swirly design and it's kind of old man winter um, blowing through the breeze there so all right hey I hope you had fun doing our big snow picture I certainly did and uh, get out there and play in the snow it'll be gone before you know it and when we look at this picture again sometime it'll be the middle of August <laughs> we'll be wishing wow I wish I could go back there just for a minute on that snowy day okay so Always remember, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you've really got something to be proud of. You're an artist. Stick with it, and I'll see you back here next time in Mr. Shea's Art Room.